she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video. Um, today is Friday, March 17th, which means I'm approaching my final week in California. Um, I fly out next Saturday, uh, March 25th. So it's coming down to the wire, which means this weekend is really important um, in terms of, you know, sorting through things uh, because my car is being picked up on the 20th. Um, so I kind of feel like I haven't been working on my move every single day. And let me tell you why, um, man, I've been trying to get my taxes done. I wanted to have my taxes done and out the way so that I could just focus on my move. Um, so I had to spend some time just going through cause I'm, you look, I don't have the best systems in place. I said that I wasn't going to let another year go by without having the right systems and I let it happen. I did. I let it happen again. So for real, this year, I got to get it together because I really don't like having to scramble and spend so much time getting stuff together, pulling reports, looking at expenses, itemizing things. I really don't want to do that. Um, yeah, so my goal is once I get settled in, is to figure out what platform fits my needs and I need to start bookkeeping like one to three times a month so that I can make things easier for myself when tax season rolls around. So that's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on my taxes, getting that out the way, um, getting my taxes filed so that I could just focus on the move. Cause y'all already know April 15th is, is around the corner, you know, and time is flying. So I spent a lot of time doing that. Um, and yesterday, last night, I spent quite a bit of time, um, like, you know, moving things, uh folding things putting them where they needed to go putting them in boxes putting stuff in bags throwing things away i did a lot of that last night so i'm gonna take y'all around my room to kind of show you what everything looks like and just yeah just bring you up to speed with what i got going on all right so i'm gonna start out here in the hallway all right so in this bin it's full of clothes i'm bringing with me um, taking this with me to keep some things organized. This box is full of things that I'm donating. So there's, uh, some shoes, hats, shorts, all kind of stuff is in there. I'm, I'm going to put that in something else. I also had a bag full of stuff that I'm donating as well as downstairs. Um, so this is what my room is looking like. And I'll go through everything. Uh, so another bin has clothes in it. Uh, I need to clear out like one more drawer. So I have space to add the clothes in there, shoes. Um, and also I have clothes and shoes still in Ohio. Uh, let's see. This is bathroom stuff, toiletries, um, things like that. If y'all missed that live when I talked about this, I'm telling y'all, get these. Get them. I'm telling you. Change your life. <laughs> uh, so in here, uh, the top drawer has books. I got COVID tests and stuff in there. I got some inserts. Y'all, I got some flat ass feet. I don't know if I ever told y'all that. My feet are super flat. So I got some inserts and insoles for my shoes. My hats are in the middle drawer. The bottom drawer is bandanas, resistance bands, and some other workout stuff is in there as well. Beanies. Um, This is trash. This is, what's over here? This top drawer is full of like miscellaneous stuff, y'all. It's like pictures. Um, there's, I got a bunch of like chargers and stuff for like different devices. The middle drawer, I have like bedroom sprays, pictures. Um, and then the bottom one, the bottom drawer is full of a bunch of, um, uh, like journals and notebooks and stuff that I need. Let me show y'all this real quick. All right. So look, this thing, this CD is 21 years old. So if you're not from California, Power 106 is a really popular station in LA. And my rap name is, was Spin, and I battled this guy named Good Game. So this CD, I was 21 at the time, and y'all, we had this incredible battle, and this CD has followed me everywhere. No matter where I've lived, I can go long stretches of time not seeing this CD, but it always pops up. So I just found it. Um which doesn't surprise me. I just found it the other day. I actually want to put it, I want to put it in my car and see if it'll play. But y'all, this has been with me and it's going to keep on being with me because I'm taking it with me. Uh, so there's that. Um, what else? Um, I got, oh, this, this uh, bin 
has my games and stuff in it. I got some different backpacks. And my backpacks, I probably just have like miscellaneous stuff inside of it. Um, this bag, y'all, this is um, resistance bands. I got this from Amazon. And it's like the type of resistance bands where you could like connect, like slide it through your door and do like all these different exercises. I'm so glad I found this. And not that it was lost. I just hadn't seen it in a while. It was sitting on my shelf. Um, let's see. What else? Um, oh, my laptop is back. So today is Friday. So I mailed this lap I mailed my laptop to um Apple because I was having a hardware issue. I mailed my laptop off last Thursday. It's it shipped on Friday morning. They had my laptop back to me Wednesday morning of this week. Super quick turnaround. And everything was fine. I didn't lose any information. Like I tip my hat to Apple on how quick they are working and getting things sent out because I didn't think that I was gonna get my laptop back in time before I left. Like I wasn't sure. Um, so yeah, so this is what's going on, um, in the room. I got a bunch of gift cards over here. Um, y'all have seen this picture, but I'm gonna show you this picture because I got another picture I want to show y'all real quick. So this picture was from a night when I got honored. This is a picture. It's entitled Black Excellence. We were honored at this event. Um, and this is all my necklaces and stuff that I wear pretty regularly. And y'all always see me with the evil eye on or the Buddha, um, but anyways, y'all, so look, y'all see this picture, right? So look at this. <laughs> I think my mom had this picture. Look at this picture, y'all. What am I doing? Like, who do I think I am? I'm leaving this picture. I'm not really the kind of person to have like a big picture of myself. That's not, I don't know. Like, cause like, where am I going to hang this? I don't know. It's just not my thing. But the person who threw the event, she took some really nice photos or got, you know, there was a photographer took some really nice photos and she gave a bunch of us photos. So I'm probably going to leave this here with my mom, see if she want to do something with it. But y'all, I am not into like taking pictures at all. Like this was so awkward to me. <laughs> like, when I see this picture, it cracks me up. I don't know why, because it's just like, it, it's not me. You would never see me really posing in a picture like this. But it was like a photo, a photo shoot. So the photographer was like, do this, do that, do this, do that. So I was just doing what I was, you know, told to do. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know where I would put this, you know, but I, I do think it's a, a nice photo. And like I said, I'm gonna leave it here. Maybe my mom will do something with it. So that's an update on my room of what I got going on. I'll show y'all a couple other things. Um, but yeah, this is the update and what's going on so far. What's going on y'all. Um, today is Saturday, March 18th. Uh, it's about one in the afternoon. Um, and I'm ready to get my day started. So I woke up early this morning. It was about, my honey called me this morning. So I got up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock. We talked on the phone for a little bit. I went back to sleep, woke up, uh, made some breakfast. And, you know, I just been like going through pictures and stuff. So I showed y'all that one of my drawers had pictures in it. And I hadn't seen those pictures in a while. So I went through them. So I'm going to show y'all a couple of pictures in a minute. Because it's just, I love to reminisce. I really do. And with this being my last weekend in California, I think it's really starting to hit me that I'm, going to be in a different state full time you know like as as the time is is winding down um so anyways today i need to wash a load of laundry um i was supposed to show y'all some more stuff yesterday but i didn't so i'm gonna show y'all that today some kitchen stuff just some things in the kitchen that are coming along with me um uh, what else i gotta do oh then i need to actually like clean out some things in my car um like my trunk is not packed but i have some things now i gotta take out um and what else then it's time to finally start packing the car so yeah so that's what's going on um i went to bed kind of late last night because i was focusing on like my drawers are all cleared out now and i really was clearing them out like i totally forgot that i needed to leave some things here at the house so i was deciding what to leave you know making sure that i had like full outfits things that matched you know stuff like that um, you know, having enough underwear, socks and stuff like that, too. So I had to make sure I left those things, stuff to sleep in, all of that. Um, and then I had to remind myself, like, hey, Rhonda, we also need clothes to pack with us on uh, the plane because I just was trying to pack everything up to put it in my car. Just like go. Um, but yeah, so I, I pulled out some clothes uh, for me to pack with me because we get there on the 25th, but my car might not be there until the 26th possibly the 27th um so i need some clothes with me also i do have some clothes in my honey's house but still obviously i need some stuff with me so 
I was, uh, you know, sorting through those things last night. So, um, yeah, y'all. So, look, I got some pictures I want to show y'all real quick since I've been over here reminiscing. I've been doing everything but packing today. So, all right. So, look at this, y'all. So, me and my, this is me and my friend, Kendall. I found a couple of pictures of us. And I might have showed some of y'all these pictures already. I don't know. So, if you've seen them before, pretend like you ain't, pretend like it's your first time. All right. So, look, this is me and my friend, Kendall. We had our FUBU shirts on, y'all. Me and my friend Kendall. Kendall was like my little sister in high school. We played on the basketball team together. I think this was I think this was our basketball banquet. I feel like this was our basketball banquet. Man, I used to stay wearing my hair straight. Y'all used to get my hair straightened faithfully every two weeks. And I started thinking about how I want to get my hair straightened. I'm gonna get my hair straightened at least one time. Um hopefully I'm in April. I actually made an appointment, but I might have to change it. But I think my appointment is April 1st. Yeah, I think so. Um, me and Kendall again. This is Theo from the radio. Uh, if anybody remembers Theo from the radio, that's him. Uh, he was on 92.3 to be. He was also in Waiting to Exhale. He was also in Waiting to Exhale. So that's him. He had came to a bowling alley uh, when me and my teammates was hanging out. Um, this is me and my guy brother. Y'all, this is when my mom first let me get some highlights of my hair. We went and took pictures. We stayed at Photo Maker's. Uh, what grade was I in in this in this picture? I was thinking about how I'm just. I feel like I've looked the same my whole life. You know how some people look drastically different. I've always looked the same. So this picture day, I feel like this is is this third grade? Finally grew into that forehead. Finally grew into them teeth. Shoof. Uh, y'all, we used to be so serious about family pictures. I'm really grateful. I think we've taken at least four or five different sets of family pictures. I think this is our first one. So it's my mom's side of the family. We wore all black. We got some pictures where we had on all white. Did we have all white? Yeah, white. We did. We've done red. We've done purple as well. Um, and then this picture started cracking me up, y'all. Look at this picture. Look, this this jacket is killing me. Because I'm like, where did I get that from? But anyway, this was me and my godbrother had turned. How old were we? 20? 19, 20, something like that, y'all. Why did we take our tax return and rent a limo? Okay, it was like $600. So we had to pay $300 a piece. We invited all of our friends. Uh, we went to some restaurant, some club, and I invited, this is my music partner. This is a dude I used to do music with. Um, so I invited him to come, I guess be my day for the night. And y'all, but this jacket, I mean, the jacket is cute. I, I'm just really surprised that I had this on. But I guess at the time, I wasn't really dressed in the way that I wanted to dress. You know what I mean? Like, in my mind, I didn't want to dress like this. Like, having on them tight-ass jeans and this jacket, I just would not wear that. But you know how it is. I had to, I had to, you know, get by, basically. I wasn't fully myself just at the time. So, anyways, y'all, I'm done talking y'all ear off. <sighs> Let's go do some laundry and... Do some laundry and clean out the car. That's that's what really needs to happen right now. So on to those things. On to those things. So before we get to the laundry, let me show you a couple things that are coming along with me. A lot of this is kitchen stuff that I've rarely used or haven't used at all. We got the hot pot. I've only used this like maybe two or three times. An immersion blender, brand new, haven't even opened it. A griddle. Also, this Ninja Air Fryer. I love all of the features and, and things that it does. I have used this less than seven or eight times. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to go in the house and show y'all some stuff too. Uh, but also, let me show you some art that I ran across that I plan on bringing with me. And hopefully, I can find a place for it uh, in my spot. All right, here's the art that I was talking about. Um, this is something that I made in a paint and sip. Uh, one of my favorite artists, Whitney Austin, came to L.A. And I was so hyped when she came, y'all. So I remember making this. I made this probably back in maybe 2018, probably. And I forgot all about it. So I ran across it as I've been going through my stuff. And then this one I probably made like in 2017, 2018. This was just something I made at home. Um, I love painting. You know, I just have fun with it. I don't think I'm really good at it. But I love to just do creative stuff. So I would always have paint supplies on hand especially from Michael's because Michael's paint supplies and their canvases and like paint and brushes are always on sale. So I would just keep it stocked up to have fun at home. So I made one, I made this like in 2017, 2018. It's always one of my favorite things I've ever made. And I hope I find a place for um, the both of them. 
all right so here are a few more things that are coming along with me um my favorite mugs one says thankful and shout out to simply k simone i got a pestle and mortar i think i've only used this once but i have a lot of ideas and things that i want to try in there so i can't wait uh these are my favorite plates and i got some items in here this allows me to drizzle sauces uh, make sure, you know, I put in the right measurements the things that I use in different ingredients and recipes. I got some food tweezers in there. Shout out to my honey for getting me those things. Um, a couple of skillets. This tea fall one, I love this one because it's big, but also it has the top. So I can simmer things in there. Um, this one is, I love this one so much. You can get so much stuff done a lot faster. Um, I don't know if it looks big on your end, but like this is what my hand looks like in the middle of it. I love this. Got that from Costco. Um, and the next couple things I'm going to show y'all right here. These are some gifts that I got for my birthday, y'all. And I cannot wait to put these in my apartment. Shout out to Marla. Marla from the GP fam got me these things for my birthday, y'all. And when I opened them, I was just blown away because I'm like, they're like, I don't know, this really made me start thinking about like what I can do in my apartment, you know? So let me show you, um, this is a salad bowl. I got some really good salad ideas, but I'm kind of afraid to use it. Like it's almost like I just want it to be a centerpiece. Um, and this really nice cutting board, y'all, this cutting board is beautiful. Um, and I'm, I don't know that I'm gonna use it like that because you know how stuff stains, like certain foods, like strawberries and stuff might stain a board. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use this or if it's just going to be like for decoration. I don't know, but I, I love these so much. Um, and she also got me a decanter. Y'all, I've never had a decanter before. Um, I'm sure I've thought about having one at one point, but I've just never had one. Hold on. Let me grab this out. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. I got it. So a decanter and she got it engraved with my last name, y'all. Like when I saw this, I ain't gonna lie. I just started crying because it's just so thoughtful and so kind. And I was like, dang, it's such a statement piece, you know? So I'm definitely getting a bar cart. Um, this is going to be on it for sure. Not sure what I'm putting inside of it, but it's going to be something nice. Um, so when I have like guests and stuff like that, these are the, the glasses that come along with it. And this is the top for the decanter. Um, so yeah, these are things that are coming with me. Um, and yeah it's time to you know do some laundry and then start figuring things out and how all this stuff is gonna make it into the car um and on its way to ohio <laughs> up y'all uh today is sunday march 19th shout out to my cousin steph today is her birthday also shout out to all the pisces um let's see what time is it, it is it is 3 53 um and it has been a busy day a very busy day so my car is getting picked up tomorrow uh the one thing about that is i don't know what time they're coming i looked through my paperwork i don't have a time frame so i don't know if they're coming in the morning i don't know if they come in in the afternoon but whenever they get here i just want to make sure i'm ready uh, my goal was to be done with everything by 5 p.m. So it's coming down to it. And I probably will still be, you know, doing stuff after five. But my biggest thing is like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing this like all night, like till 11, 12 o'clock at night. I want to be done with it and just like have a chance to relax and enjoy my Sunday. Um, so I did make some adjustments and I'm going to show y'all some of the adjustments that I made because I just had to sit with myself like, all right, what are some things that we can leave here at home? Because that's the beauty of it is that things can be left here at home in my you know my parents house you know because i will be visiting i'll be here for you know weeks at a time and what can i leave here 
you know, um, I have closet space that I can take advantage of drawers. So I've just been, you know, had to be honest with myself to, you know, leave some stuff behind. Um, and that also allows me to make space for other stuff. And so that things can just, you know, fit better. So let me show you some of the adjustments that I made. And then I'll also show you, you know, what I've packed in the car so far. All right. So let's get to that. So earlier in the vlog, my shoes were inside of a box. Um, I knew that was going to be temporary, but I didn't know how I was going to pack them. So I moved some things around in this drawer and I was able to add my shoes in. So I have seven pairs of shoes in that drawer. I'm leaving three pairs here at the house and I have four pairs of shoes in Ohio. Um, the other adjustment I made was here in this bin, the third and final bin. So initially I had pretty much all games in here. I'm going to say it was like 85, 90% games. I had a couple other like, what did I have in here? It was like some candles were in here and I like some, some small toiletry stuff. But I was like, you know what? This is a lot of space and I need to be able to add other stuff in here. So what I decided to do, I went through my games. I'm leaving probably half of them here and I'm bringing the ones that I absolutely love. Those are coming with me. Okay, so I'm glad that I finally get to put this to use. I bought this when I first started YouTube, but I never did anything with it. I'm going to use this on my bar cart, so I can't wait for that. Um, so I have games. We got games in here. I got my mugs, plates. Um, I got the glasses in here to go with the decanter. The decanter is here. So everything is all snug. It's packed in well. Got my toiletries in here, hair products. Still got my candles and stuff in here as well. Um, I got different, you know, just all kind of stuff for my toiletry stuff is in here as well. So this just made more sense for me to do it this way versus it being mostly games. So now let's go to the car and I'm going to show you what I have in there so far and how I packed it. All right, y'all. So this is what's going on in the car so far. This is everything I packed up until last night, which was Saturday night. Uh, the first thing I did was move my seats forward to create some more space in the back seat. And on the floor, I have my hot pot. I have two bars and the weights that go along with this are in the trunk. So you'll see that later. Uh, and let's move to the back seat to see what's going on back there. All right. So back here, I have the artwork I wanted to bring along with me. I have some canisters. Uh, this bag right here has um, the resistance bands in it. And here's a small stash of good as can be. So I'm sold out. But even when I'm sold out, I definitely keep a stash uh, for my family, my friends, for business purposes. Uh, I got to restock when I run out. Also, for, uh, for giveaways. So shout out to everybody on Patreon. I was able to choose three people recently and able to hook them up with some seasoning. So I'll be restocked uh, hopefully end of April, maybe early, uh, maybe early May at the latest so y'all stay tuned for the updates on that so here's what's inside the trunk um i always forget how much space is in my trunk because i don't ever have a whole bunch of stuff in there um but let me go through and show you real quick so i have a couple miscellaneous bags off to the side these purple bags i was able to fit the two bins in here uh this one's all closed this one was mostly closed at first as well uh, then i took some stuff out to leave at the house and that made some space for me to actually um Pack the salad bowl, the wooden salad bowl, and the cutting board. Got the griddle in here. Got some wipes, some weights as well. These are the weights that go on that bar. I got a bat right there. Uh, and then there's like a cubby hole area way in the back. So I wanted to make sure that I maximized my space as much as I could. So behind these bins are the um, my Ninja Air Fryer. And then stacked on top of that are the two skillets that I showed in the kitchen. And I also have a kettlebell back there. So I think so far that I've done a really good job maximizing the space. And I just hope to be done within like the next hour, two hours max, so that I can take a shower and just chill, y'all. Because, you know, moving ain't no joke. It's not. But I really have been taking it, you know, I didn't do everything in one day in terms of packing my car. I gave myself Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to just focus just on that um so i've been taking my time and pacing myself and i'm just ready to be done so i could just you know pretty much chill for the you know my last couple of days here in california all right my good people it is 506 on the clock and i got the last item in my hand to put in the car which is my ring light ring light is the last thing i'm gonna show y'all what the back seat and stuff looks like and i'll be done man I'm sweaty, I'm hot, but got it done. So this is it. Kodak is about to be gone, which is the car. I call my car Kodak. So let me um, just show y'all what it's looking like. 
the only thing I added to the trunk was my ring light and then the drawers. Four of the six are in the back seat, so two leaned up against uh, the seats. I got two here, so I'm really glad that they're stackable. And these are the last two, and that's it. Kodak is packed up. And the biggest thing the carrier told me was just to make sure that the windows aren't blocked um, and that, you know, stuff isn't like stacked up to the ceiling of the car. So that's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow when the carrier gets here. What's up, y'all? Um, today is Monday, March 20th. It is 1030 p.m. And this is my first time picking up the camera. And I'm picking it up because of a phone call I just got a few minutes ago. Um, so my car was supposed to be picked up today and like crickets. I didn't hear nothing. So let me tell you how the day has went. Um, so I got up about uh, 7, 730. And when I woke up, I had a text message from the transport company telling me that I had a scheduled pickup today and that drivers typically call two to three hours in advance um, before they pick up. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I called the company to find out if there was like a window of time, you know, to expect the driver or just whatever information they had. So um, the woman I talked to was like, oh, drivers pick up between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. So I'm like, OK, cool. Great. I'll be home all day. I planned on being here all day. No big deal. So um, 10 a.m. came, 2 p.m. came and went, 5 p.m., 9 p.m., nothing. I haven't heard any updates. I haven't got any more text messages, no phone calls, emails, nothing. Right. So. I'm like, OK, um, all I can do is call the company in the morning, you know, and I'm like doing my best, like not to stress out about this. And I say stress because like when I booked this, so I booked this January 23rd. So it's been booked for a while. This is my first time doing this. So I had plenty. I had a ton of questions. And, you know, you really have to book it as far in advance as you can, because um, it's really about, you know, booking your car on a route you know, where your car can be delivered. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you really want to get a slide as soon as you can and get on a route so your car can get to where it's going. That's what the guy explained to me. So I'm just thinking like, okay, if my car is not picked up tonight, how does it throw, how does this throw things off? Like, is it going to put me in a position where I get my car a week after I expected or what? I just got, I'm thinking all these different things, right? So I'm like, okay. I mean, but I'm like, I'm trying to be positive and I'm like, all right, so maybe my car didn't get picked up tonight but you know who's to say the driver was going to continue tonight maybe they don't really continue their ride until morning so i can get my car picked up and still be on the same you know route still to be delivered by the 27th all right so i'm like okay so i'm trying to remain positive so it's like 10 p.m so i'm over here watching your honor chilling you know like i said just chopped it up like okay all i can do is call in the morning that's all i can do at this point and my phone rings at like 10 5 number is not saved i'm like this gotta be the driver so the guy calls and he's just like hey i'm like hey <laughs> you know and he's like um i'm supposed to pick your car up i'm like are you coming tonight or are you coming in the morning and so he was like well i wanted to come tonight and so i'm like okay i'm like so how far far are you like are you close and he's like oh, i'm about 30 minutes and he was like no nah, about an hour and a half and so i'm like okay you know yeah you can come through pick the car up um, because this is like, like a big part of this, this process for me, you know, and I want to get my car, um, taken care of and that be just done and out the way. And I can just, you know, focus on the next thing, which is my flight that's coming up. Right. So anyway, he's coming. I didn't think he was, but he's coming. He'll be here. He said 1130, but it may be midnight. Maybe it's after midnight. I don't know. Um, but I'm just glad that it's, it's working out, you know, um, so I don't know how much I'll be able to record and it's dark outside. So I'll record as much as I can um, to show y'all like the process right? and, you know, the car being loaded up and stuff. So that's the update on that. So <laughs> I'll see y'all for whatever is next. All right.
y'all. I just made it back to the house. It's about 12, 15 a.m. I'm tired. I am ready to call it a night. But I'm going to take a shower. Then I'm going to go to sleep. Um, so the driver, he was cool. He was a very kind guy. Um, he was very apologetic about being late. Like very, like super genuine about it. Um, and it just made me realize, you know, things come up. Things don't go as planned. Um, and I'm sure a lot comes along with what he does in his industry and stuff. So, you know, he made up for it for sure by being apologetic. Um, also, I appreciate the fact that he was texting me updates while he was on his way out here. So he was like, I'm 50 minutes away. I'm 30 minutes away. Um, he was like, I'm pulling up. And then when he got here, he dropped a pin. And my dad and I met him at the location, which was super close to our house. I'm going to say it was like a minute drive, if that. Like, it was super close to our house. Um, and it just made it easier for him to load the car up. So uh, when he got here, I signed paperwork. Then he took photos of the car, took video of the car. And I did the same thing yesterday. So I have my videos on my phone. I did that at home, though. Um, it is very detailed videos of the inside of the car, outside of the car, and also what's in, you know, the items that I'm bringing along and that I got transported. So, yeah, so I'm just happy that that's taken care of and I ain't got to worry about that for the rest of the week because I, I would have hated for that to turn into something else, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's it, y'all. This is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, the next thing y'all see, I will be, it'll probably be, um, so it'll be like a travel day. It'll be like a travel day. And I think like us arriving in Ohio and all that stuff. So that should be what's in the next vlog. All right. So I'll see y'all then. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming. I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.